Have you ever wanted to know what your crawler weighs? Did you want to know how to get that 60-40 split in weight distribution? Well, this product just might be for you. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone is doing well. We are in the RC propaganda shop. And today we are going to be weighing in on the situation of weight on your RC crawlers. So I picked this corner weight system up a little while ago. Forget exactly what I paid for it, but if you are interested in one, do some searching. So before I started this video, I kind of wanted to see what the current price was. And it seems now they've switched to a Bluetooth setup, but you can still find these ones. And it looks like the price has kind of gone down um, and all kinds of weird ways so uh, do your research before you buy I've seen them as low as $76 up to $120 I believe I paid around $130 for this at the time uh, I've had it for quite a while and I actually have not used it so what this is is a corner weight system a lot of racers use this type of thing to distribute weight uh, left to right front to back that sort of thing uh, in you know very competitive racing but this also has a great application for crawling. So here it is. It is just this little unit here. You can power it with uh, DC or with the uh, AA batteries. It doesn't come with any of those, but it's uh, pretty simple to use, color-coded. You just plug this in, front left, front right, rear right, rear left, and you put your truck on the scale. So we will fire this bad boy up, and here in the corner, you can see all those little lights going. And at first, right, I fired this thing up. It was a little hard to use. It doesn't tell you what unit you are in, but what I did is I have this other little scale. And what I did is I took these uh, brass beef patties I had, saw what it weighed, and I have this little scale on grams. And then if you take the crawler off, I was able to take one, and you can see here it starts to read it and it is not coming up right now. That says error, huh, okay. Let's take that off. Let's zero everything, see what happens. Huh, let's unplug it, plug it back in. I was having, okay, now everything is on zero. So there we go. And if we put that weight on there, 64.7, 64.7. So it's accurate with that. And then we're putting it on the front left and we got a 50-50 distribute uh, for the weight. I'll bring it closer and you can see there it's showing 50-50, which is nice. So now we kind of know how the thing's working. And then if we move it over to the same side, we got the same weight and it's showing the front and rear weight uh, equal down there. And we're still at 50-50. And I don't know why it's showing 50-50 here because it is on that side. But if we put it in the back, it's 50-50. That, I don't know why that's showing at 50-50 because there's nothing on this side. Huh, that's strange, but you kind of get the point. So let's put a rig on it. Now, <clears throat> all right, so now we have a crawler on here. This is the Axial SEX-10-3 Bronco. And now you can see I got 52 to the the right side and 48 and then 55 45 to the back so i have these figures in there right so we'll take these out and look at now it's getting more balanced it's closer so let's put just for fun to show you how it works if you put a figure on it now the weight's really going to one side so it's going to the right Huh. Front, rear, right. I think I have 
these to the, if you're sitting in the car, that the driver's side's to the left. So blue is rear right. Okay, that's right. But it seems, so this must be left here. Front, right, rear, left. So it's a little confusing. Once you figure it out, you're good. So rear, left. So let's put this in the back here. He goes up. Now, some of these numbers are a little wacky here on the bottom because this number here, I have a different wheel on there. I was swapping some tires. So this isn't exactly, you know, what it's going to be. But uh, it's confusing me right now. That's why these weights are so off. So don't really worry about these numbers. I'm just kind of trying to show you how it works. But you can tune it and see all these different things. You can see if your figures are really messing it up, right? Let's put these two figures on the front. And with those two figures on the front, I'm getting closer to that 60-40 split. So that's kind of what you can use this for and what I was kind of trying to show here. This is, it's a little expensive, but it's a simple tool if you're trying to tune these crawlers and you really you know, want to see more accurately what it weighs and what you're doing. So right here, you can see the front is at 55 without anything in there, and the rear is at 45, although I do have uh, some cooler. Wow, you can see it went down just by removing this 3D printed cooler I have from uh, custom scale printing in the back. So, you know, you can see what scale accessories are doing to your rig, if it's something you want to do. This truck, right, I'm trying to make it more scale, but I do kind of want to mess around with it. Now, these numbers are off, like I said, because of that wheel, but it's really cool to see everything, and once you figure it out, uh, you can start to learn. So, like I said earlier, I had to take the little scale here to figure it out. And if you put the formula in, okay, right now it says 3,744 grams. So 3,745 grams on the Google here, two pounds, two pounds. We get 8.2. 256 pounds so this is like just over eight pound rig and that's interesting and you can really use that information depending upon what you're doing right uh, if you're trying to get foam sometimes they rate them for weight so there's all kinds of different little uses that you can do with this and in a future video I'm going to oh it shuts off automatically it looks like after some time in a future video I am going to weigh in all my rigs and we'll see what weighs what. Um, and part of the reason I got this out is because on this particular rig, you have the rear battery and the side battery, and I wanna see exactly what is the better position to put that battery in and you know, kinda tune for that. So if you're trying to tune your crawler or whatever, this will be like kinda like the ultimate tool. So if you're looking to take your game up a notch, this might be it, again. Uh, this is the corner weight system from Sky RC. Look around for the price. Uh, make sure you get a good deal. You always want to get a good deal. So look around. Don't just you know buy the first one you see. Uh, currently, I did not see it on A Main Hobbies. They have the new Bluetooth one, but maybe that's uh, one you'd want to use. Uh, I guess you just put the little scales down and use the Bluetooth. So that is more of the updated one. Like I said, I've had this one for a while. So there you have it. Just a quick overview of the sky rc corner weight system if you're looking to take your crawling game to the next level pick one up see what your split is and uh, get to tuning but thanks for watching really appreciate it make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos and i'll see you guys in the next one peace